all is right mm. with the world when Finn's country is oh, back. Lovely, and there'll be more next Thursday when Roger will be at Nep Castle in West Sussex, highlighting the country state's extraordinary work of transforming traditional farmland back to the wild, which I think will be fascinating. OK, on to the weather. Sarah Farmer is with us tonight. We've got some rain coming in, haven't we? We have, yes. The weekend's not looking wonderful, but next week we have a more positive note to look forward mm. to. So return to those warmer temperatures and above average for the time of the year as well. But yes, a bit of soggy weather between now and then. However, today, what a beautiful day it's been. A dramatic dawn we had this morning in East Wellow. Thank you very much to Jan Sutton for that one there. Beautiful blue skies over Princess Risborough and Angela Walters was glad of the breeze today, she says, after the humid weather that we've had. And, well, isn't that a picture worth looking at for a while? And that's uh, Shanklin um, Beach How long do you want on the Isle of Wight with Chris. <laughs> we want to get on with the weather forecast okay, now. on to the weather. <laughs> There were many, many beautiful pictures to send it to choose from, so thank you for sending them all in. Now, through the course of the rest of this evening, we've got a fine end to the day. So we do stick with the dry conditions through this evening and the beginning part of tonight as well. But very gradually, we will start to see that cloud building in from the west, and that's going to bring with it one or two pockets of wet weather. Not all of us seeing that wet weather through the course of tonight, and temperatures still on the mild side for this time of the year, 15 or 16 degrees the overnight lows, but slightly cooler than they have been the last couple of nights. So to first thing tomorrow morning then, and Friday we have quite a bit of cloud around first thing, with again one or two pockets of wet weather, but that does tend to ease away and we start to see drier, brighter conditions as we go into the afternoon and temperatures up to around 20 or 21 degrees. Our southeastern corner, just to the east of the Isle of Wight, could see one or two of those showers lingering later into the day. Now for the first part of tomorrow night, we stay dry once again, but it's not for long. We will start to see the cloud encroaching and then some wet weather arriving as well. The wind's picking up and indeed some heavy pulses of rain to be had through those early hours and our temperatures back to the 17s and 18s of recent days. So as we go into first thing on Saturday morning, the weekend starts on a soggy note. We will have that band of rain very gradually working its way out to the southeast. Stalling for a short time, we will have quite a bit of cloud. So those pulses of rain could well come and go till the early evening period. And very gradually we see that easing away. So let's take a look at the summary for this weekend and it looks like we'll start with those outbreaks of rain through the course of Saturday. We will have some brighter conditions as we go through Sunday, but still quite a bit of cloud, maybe the odd shower for western parts and some brisk winds as well. Here's your summary then for the next few days. We will have quite a bit of cloud around tomorrow, but some brightness, the odd shower. Wet weather in store through the day on Saturday, drier for Sunday and then warming up through the early part of next week. Sarah, thanks very much. You had a sharp intake of breath when you saw that rain on Saturday, I know, didn't you? but looks like it's clearing by kick-off time, 3 oh, o'clock on crossed. Saturday. Yes. Yes. yes, so that's good. Tomorrow night, Goodwood Revival. Join us for that and uh, much more besides. More at 8 o'clock and then 10.30 this evening. And thanks for watching. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.